Hello everybody, I'm Thrash Maniac HD, and this is your NXT review for January 22nd, 2014. Once again, sorry for the delay on this one. Uh, and this, as you can tell from the length of the video, this is a lot longer than the last episode, because the last episode there wasn't too much. This episode, you had a lot of stuff happen, so this is going to be a good review for me to do for this episode. So the first match we get is Adrian Neville versus the debut of a guy named Wesley Blake. This match was essentially Adrian Neville kicking ass, and I thought for what it was, it was an alright match. Adrian Neville picked up the win to get more momentum after he defeated Tyler Breeze last week. And I thought the match was alright for what it was. And there you go. <clears throat> Then we get an interview with the BFFs. You got Summer Rae, Sasha Banks, and newly added Charlotte Flair. First time Charlotte Flair's been on in, or no, I, why, why was I going to say Impact? NXT since she turned on Bailey like two or three months ago. It, I forget when, but it's been a while since Charlotte's been on NXT. And they asked her why she'd been gone so long. And she's like, well, I was just getting the benefits of being part of the BFFs. Plane rides, limousine rides, and she's like, and it's something that is natural when your last name is Flair. And she was saying, and they asked her why did she turn on Bailey, and she basically said because her way of life is to hug and have headbands when that is not life. This is the real world where you gotta do whatever you can. I thought that was a really good interview all three of them had. And then Summer Rae comes in to say, yeah, I'm going to show that to Natalia later tonight when we go one-on-one. -on -one. So, yeah, that was a really good interview segment with the BFFs. It's going to be interesting to see when we're going to see the Charlotte, uh, Charlotte Flair-Bailey match that is bound to happen. So, yeah. Next up, we get Xavier Woods versus Alexander Rusev in a rematch from two weeks before when Kane came out two weeks ago and told Xavier Woods he would be punished for signing the petition to get Big Show back in the WWE, and his punishment would be to face Alexander Rusev, and Rusev basically killed him. This week, Xavier Woods coming out to uh, Brodus Clay's old theme song, I guess they're giving that kind of gimmick over to Xavier Woods now, it seems. But, uh, Xavier Woods versus Alexander Rusev in a rematch. Essentially, it was similar to the match they had two weeks ago. Alexander Rusev won. For what it was, it was alright. And there you go. And after the match, Rusev has the accolade still locked in on Xavier Woods. And then, Al and then Alexander Rusev's just going nuts. And then out comes Sin Cara, of all people. Comes out and beats down a little bit on Rusev. And then Rusev get and then Sin Cara and Xavier Woods got out. And uh, I thought that was interesting. Looks like we're going to see Sin Cara, Alexander Rusev go one-on-one, -on -one, maybe on the next episode. We'll see. Then we get a match between C.J. Parker versus Antonio Cesaro. I actually thought for how short it was, I thought this was a good match. Parker was going back and forth with uh, Cesaro. I thought this was a good match. Cesaro picked up the win after doing the Cesaro swing and then the neutralizer, which I thought that was cool. Then after the match, Sami Zayn comes out, and he's on uh, one crutch because he had a leg, a leg problem which is all uh, for that injury he had, that little tweak the knee he had. But he'll be back soon. Zayn comes out and says, 2014 will be the year of Sami Zayn. Last year was a good, the best year of my career. However, the one blemish was losing to Antonio Cesaro in that 2 out of 3 falls match. And he said that a lot of people considered it the best wrestling match of the year. Which... Uh, is debatable for me, but it's up there for sure. Um, and then Sami Zayn says, I want a rematch against you, Cesaro, so I can get that blemish off. And then Cesaro walks up to him and grabs him like he's like, no, shoves it back into him. So Cesaro pretty much turned down the rematch opportunity, and Zayn's pretty pissed. <laughs> 
then we get an interview with The Miz, who shows up on NXT, and they ask him, how what does he think of the place? He's like, it's awesome. And then CJ Parker shows up, and he's like, I'm so sick of the people booing me out there. And Miz is like, I can see why they would. And Parker's like, you can see why? And, and then he slaps Miz right in the face, and I thought that was kind of cool. I thought this was a good segment. Looks like we're going to see C.J. Parker versus The Miz on an upcoming episode. Maybe next week, maybe the week after, who knows. Should be interesting to see that go down. After all, I am one of the very few fans of C.J. Parker out there, because I like what he does in the ring and stuff like that. Then we get Natalia versus Summer Rae. I thought this was a good match between these two. Summer Rae and Natalia going back and forth. Natalia eventually picked up the win with the sharpshooter, and there you go. Then we get an interview with Enzo Amori, who's still on his, in his uh, wheelchair after breaking his leg, and then and Colin Cassie was with him, talking about the update for Amori, and then Aiden English shows up, and uh, basically talking down Colin Cassie, because their feud's still not over yet. Looks like them two will go head to head eventually one more time. Now we get to the big segment of the night, Bo Dallas's banner rising celebration, because this was Bo Dallas's 224th day as being NXT champion. He gets the banner raised, and then out comes Adrian Neville, and he's just telling him, shut up, no one wants to hear you talk. And basically he wants the rematch against him, but Bo's like, I don't think so. Triple H appears on the Tron and says, you guys make valid points on each other, so I'm going to give you guys each an opportunity. We're going to have a 4 minute, 45 second beat the clock match, which was basically carried over from the beat the clock challenge episode, where both Neville and Sami Zayn were tied at 4 minutes, 45 seconds. Triple H decided to make the match that long. And if Adrian Neville can last the time or even beat Bo Dallas, he gets a title shot. If Bo Dallas can beat him, no rematch. And the re- and uh, if Neville won or last at the time, the rematch will happen on February 27th on the WWE Network for a live episode of NXT, which is going to be great. Um, so we get the match now, Bo Dallas versus Adrian Neville. For what it was, it was all right. Adrian Neville lasted the time, so that means we get the big rematch. NXT Live, February 27th. It's going to be Bo Dallas, Adrian Neville for the NXT Championship. I hope Adrian Neville wins the belt, because I think it's about time for Bo Dallas to drop the belt to somebody worthy. So there you go. Overall, this week's episode of NXT, while most some of the matches were all right to good, to good, Match of the night, I thought, was uh, Natalia and Summer Rae by a narrow margin over C.J. Parker and Antonio Cesaro. Um, so, yeah. I thought for this week's episode was pretty good, considering we had more stuff involved than what we had last week, which is why this review was a lot longer, because there was a lot more to talk about. But anyways, thank you guys for watching, and like I said in the last video, annotation link for the WrestleMania 30 contest, vote for me now. For the Randy Orton, Daniel Bryan, RKO for four tables snapshot, that's my snapshot, go vote now. But until next video, peace.